Hello, I'm Amanda Stout, climate scientist for the National Wildlife Federation. As massive wildfires rage in California this summer, I'm saddened by the continued loss of life battling these intense fires. As a scientist, I've stepped back to look at what the latest research reveals about how global warming will increase the risk of wildfires. There are two important facts I want you to consider. First, in the American West over the past few decades, the number of fires has increased. And second, these fires have consumed larger areas of forest. Global warming can explain part of this trend. Higher temperatures have led to longer fire seasons, drier conditions, and more lightning strikes to ignite fires. Plus, warmer conditions favor widespread insect infestations that can leave broad ranges of dead and highly combustible trees. Don't get me wrong, fire is a natural and beneficial part of many forest ecosystems. We need to allow some fires to burn and thus return our forests to more natural conditions with trees of different ages, lower fuel loads, and more space between the trees. However, historic attempts to prevent wildfires have allowed unsafe fuel loads to build up. When you add global warming impacts to these decades of fire suppression, the result is an increasing risk of large, intense fires with significant costs in lives, property, and tax dollars. In 2007 alone, the federal government spent $3 billion fighting fires. Today's new era of more frequent and intense fires demands a new approach to managing our forests and fire risk. We must address the root of the problem and reduce the global warming pollution that fuels more severe fires. At the same time, it is critical to restore our forests to more natural conditions and fire cycles, to step up protections for people and property, and to jumpstart new forest growth. You can see my complete analyses at www.nwf.org slash extreme weather.